first of all, before I start, I want to say to you, Gurudev, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. By your grace, you granted us as a gift your intimate, lovingly feelings for Radharani. And this enables us to feel and act as a manjari. And through this, we are able to immerse ourselves in the descriptions of Sri Anantadas Babaji Maharaj and experience the Leelas in Vaj very lively. As Tarun Govinda briefly explained, it is like when we see the movie Lord of the Rings and experience it with our self and our feelings. It is like this. So I want to say also thank you, uh, Suniti, for this invitation and the uh, possibility to read and to share today. This is so all the money happening in our life. We are not capable for these things. But Mahajans and Radharani Masi <laughs> is happening in our life. Yes. All, all, make all. Yeah. All. Yeah. Should I, should I start? Yes. Okay. Then we read today Vilapakus Manjali, first eighty six. And Gurudev, if you allow, I want to make the following. First, I read the main text. Then I read the notes of Sri Anantadas Babaji Maharaj to the middle. And then I bring uh, my point of topic today. This is an announcement of Krishna and this will be the topic today. So I start now. O Sadaye, merciful girl, when will this maiden, after Madhava, piteously petition it, her in so many unbearable ways? Knowing her to be very dear to you, anxiously fall at Lalita's feet to plead for him, trying to soothe your pig at him. So I repeat the main verse. O Sadaye, merciful girl, when will this maiden after Madhava piteously petitioned her in so many unbearable ways, knowing her to be very dear to you, anxiously fall at Lalita's feet to plead for him, trying to suit your pig at him. So now I, I start with the notes of Sri Anantadas Babaji Maharaj. The, the succession of Sri Raghavalish of Sri Radha's amazing form, qualities, and pastimes continues without interruption. Mana is also a kind of rasa. 
In this verse, Sri Raghunath relishes Sri Radha's mana rasa. Mana is a kind of loving anger. Two words. Are you on the love? I just wanted to make sure that you, you got. And the relish of this mana is profuse and enormous. Sometimes Radha may have a reason to be angry with Krishna because he cheated her with another girl, for instance. And sometimes there may be no reason. Sri Radhika may be angry with Krishna just to increase his eagerness for her. Mana then serves as an obstacle, a kind of dam in a strong river stream of love, which is naturally crooked. First, increasing the volume of water before the dam, and then dividing the stream into a hundred different branches that move in a crooked way and ultimately renovate, sweeten, and reinvigorate the old stream of love. In the kingdom of love, mana is a wonderful, reviving elixir, an amazing miracle. For this renovation, the Yugala Kishore may sometimes have to go through intolerable tensions that cause new emotions to sprout and the old vines of their hearts and that make an amazed dirty face worthy to come before the mirror again. The hero will fall at the feet of the heroine, being greedy to taste more of her sweet love and begging Manini to give up her peak towards him. Lalita is the general of all of Radhika's girlfriends, and her mood is Vama Prakara, harsh and unsubmissive. She directs Swamini's peak at Shyama just to increase her loving eagerness. Swamini is controlled by Lalita's love. She herself may not always be angry with Krishna, but still she cannot meet him if Lalita does not allow it.
Therefore, the word asayai, intolerable, in the text, does not refer only to Krishna, but also to Swamini, as well as her maid servants. She can also not tolerate the separation from her Priyatama. In case our hero is guilty, one night Swamini anxiously waits for Krishna in the trysting Kunja. But Krishna fails to show up until they break. Lalita instructs Swamini then to be angry with Krishna. So Swamini tells Shyama, O oh Madhava, your eyes are red from staying up the whole night. This red color clearly shows your attachment to another woman. Riyari, go Madhava, go Keshava. Don't speak any false words to me. O oh, lotus eyed one, go to that woman who can soothe your sorrow. Or one time she sarcastically tells Krishna, don't touch me, don't touch me, stay where you are. Take a mirror and look at your own moonlike face, which is smeared with eyeliner. That black color looks very beautiful on your black face. When I get up in the morning, seeing your face, I know that I will have a great day. I see pen, sorry, I see pen spots on your face showing signs of the lips that kissed you. Your eyes are half closed of drowsiness because you were up the whole night with this girl. Turn around and look at me. Let me look straight in your eyes. Why do I see such glossy curly hairs on your chest? <clears throat> you have spots of Sindura, this is reddish powder, on your whole body. If I would appear before my lover like this, I would die in shame. So now, now if allow Grudev, I would going directly to the topic today, and this is um, Krishna. He after he yes after hearing Radharani's words, Krishna takes to Lassi by the hand and goes outside with her, and then he says, "This is an." Page, sorry, page three hundred twenty five. Krishna says, Oh, Tulasi Manjari, 
I swear you, today I didn't do anything wrong. Still your Swamini maintains a very tough peak towards me. So I repeat this. This is really the topic that uh, for this I chose this verse. O Tulasi Manjari, Krishna says, I swear you, today I didn't do anything wrong. Still your Swamini maintains a very tough peak towards me. So when I go now personally in the mood of Manjari Bhav, this statement by Krishna is an absolute no-go for me. Anyone can see the marks on Krishna's body. Anyone. And yet he claims that he has done nothing wrong. He even uses the words, this is, uh, I think this is Bengali, or Sanskrit, sorry, I don't know, Aji Aparada Nahimora. So there is the word Aparada, that means Krishna is conscious, very conscious, to do now uh, Aparada against Radharani. He has the fear to lose Radharani's society, his her, her friendship. So, but still, he say, I did nothing wrong. I swear you, he say, I swear you. So when I am, uh, when now, if I were in Tulasi's place, I personally would ask Krishna, dear Krishna, you actually believe yourself what you just Say it. In, in, in Deutsch würde ich jetzt sagen, lieber Krishna, glaubst du tatsächlich selber, was du da gerade sagst? So, everybody can see the signs that he was together with the other woman. But still, he says, I did nothing wrong, anything wrong. So, this is for me really a problem. And let's together look from outside, not from inside of Manjari consciousness. Let us look from outside to the Shastras, Krishna's own words. Krishna explains in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, first Kanto, chapter 17 and verse 24 to 25. He explains the four pillars of religion. Tapa, Shaucham, Daya, and now it comes. Satyam. Satyam. Means true, truthness. Truthfulness. This is the four pillars of advanced civilization. Says Shila Prabhupada in this text. But Krishna, <laughs> he said, I did nothing wrong. <laughs> then Bhagavad Gita is full of statements of Krishna's instructions, how important Satyam is, truthfulness, Wahrheit. And uh, in Bhagavad Gita, um, Chapter 17, verse 15, he also says, one should speak only words that are truthful, pleasing, and useful, and do not excite others. And uh, he, adv he advises also Arjuna on the battlefield of uh, Kurukshetra, he said, Achuna, please tell you the world the truth, because 
maybe the people will not believe in me because I break my vow not to fight in the battle. So um, I try, I personally try to solve this con contradiction to solve by uh, dialectism. That means thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. For example, thesis means, for example, we can go outside. Antithesis means we can't go out because it's raining outside. So synthesis means we can go out if we take an umbrella with us. So I try to bring the problem Krishna says on one point that true. He stays for, for uh, Satyam and on the other hand he is Asatyam. He is lying. So I try to bring this in this concept of dialectics, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. So then I found a solution for me and I try to bring this in three different steps, three different perspectives. And please, Gurudev, after these three point of my view, please give you opinion to solve this uh, so-called problem. So first one, step one, I try to see this so-called conflict that Krishna tells not the truth. I, I try to see this as a game, a rasa. And everyone enjoys in their own way, this rasa. May, we may say it's okay. But for me, as Radharani's manjari, however, there is, I'm missing the sweetness, the madhurya. This is for me more a neutral way to see this. So, my second point of view is Krishna is like a honeybee. But who's a bee? A bee flies from a flower to another flower, sucking its nectar and pollinating it in the same time. So this is the nature of a bee. She cannot act otherwise. In addition, it is also scientific, scientific proven that the bee ensures a survival of flowers and plants and also the survival of human beings in this way. So in the same way, I try to see Krishna as this honeybee. Whenever the girls of Raja hear Krishna's flute, what is happened? The sweetness, the honey of Krishna's lips, this honey flows through the flute and gushes out in all directions. This rush over and, and every, every, every girl will hear this, including married girls. So Krishna exchanges erotic games with them 
And in this way, he ensures the survival of the young girls. This is Krishna's nature to do so. He can't help it. He cannot jump over his shadow. So, and for this behavior, <laughs> he is praised even by the saints and the wise men. <laughs> and uh, in um, Brahma Sangita, there is this line, Venum kvanantam aravindam dalayataksham. So everyone, everybody knows this line. <laughs> I, worship, I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who is adept in playing on his flute with blooming eyes like lotus petals, with head decked with peacock's feather. With the figure of beauty, think it with the who of blue clouds. And his unique loveliness, charming millions of cupids. So this is the, the second point of my view to save my problem. But <laughs> I must earn, uh, earnest say, when I am my... The mood of Radharani's Manjo Grace Gurudev. If you give me this present, that I can have the feelings to be Radharani's Manjari. When I'm in, in this feeling, I'm still not happy because my Swamini is upset by his behavior. So now I try to see in a Third step, the whole thing, and to solve this. So if I look by your grace, my Gurudev, and by the grace of Anantadas Babaji Maharaj, in Krishna's face, in this situation, through the lines of Sri Anantadas Babaji's wonderful words. I look in pure innocent. Krishna <laughs> is actually convinced that he has done nothing wrong. He actually believes that. <laughs> he knows very well that he, he is the most beautiful and that all the girls of Vrindavan are attracted to him. So that's normal for him. He sees nothing wrong in this. So it will be normal for me to blame him for his behavior towards my Radharani. But I cannot. I cannot. I want to make my Radharani happy. And I can only do that if I bring her together with Krishna to my service as her Manjari. And there are two ways to make Radharani happy as Manjari. First, I always remember Radharani, by all my actions, by all the service, what I doing outside and inside, remember her and Krishna. And the second step, I bring her physically by, by the rasa, by the game, physically together every day with Krishna. So this is only possible by the endless grace of you, dear Gurudev. And please, if you uh, like, please bring now your opinion to see this situation 
because I'm convinced <laughs> all the Vaishnavas, they're hearing now in this Zoom meeting, they want to hear you, not me. They want to hear you and your wonderful explanation. Please, Gurudev, thank you for the time uh, for, for <laughs> hearing. <laughs> Very nice, oh, beautifully your experience. But this is one side of thinking from the scripture, right? Now, other side, I say, you. I say from the Jasoda Maya and Krishna. One time, Krishna is stealing in the house of the gopis, butter, and one day he, he catch by the gopis, and they bring to the Sudhamaya. The Sudhamaya asked, why you steal butter in other place? Why not you eat in my home? So many varieties of butter I make for you. Why not you do this? Why you go to other home to steal? And Gopi say, if Krishna eat, I have no problem. But he bring his all friends, <laughs> and not only friends, he bring all monkeys also to steal from my place. So this is too not telling to us if he eat also and break my pots also. So Yasoda Maya, you have to stop this Krishna for stealing. Yasoda Maya very angry. Very, very angry. Krishna said, Maya, man, nahi makhan khayo. Means I no steal any butter. She is lying. <laughs> she is lying. I know we steal from her home. Although the butter was in the mouth. <laughs> And she said, I'm, I no go to steal her house. She's lying to you because she understands that I'm not your real son. I am born by others and you take care of me. So they, you also believe them, not to me. <laughs> I really I promise you that I know you steal any butter there. You know this? Krishna is not lying. Krishna say, what I can do? When they are making butter, they say, if Krishna come and eat mm. this butter, my butter will be fortunate. I will be fortunate, and they are making this butter. And Krishna feel this love of gopis that they are calling me to making for me butter. I have to eat this. And his nature to not to eat alone. How he can leave his friend and he go to eat alone is not... He's stealing, they invite him <laughs> by his inside. And Krishna can understand the inside what we feel. And he go and he eat like he's right, that I have to eat because she I'm a guest. <laughs> and she eat and keep in the mouth and put in the mouth of everyone and giving to him and to the leftover monkey because they cook for the Krishna and cooking time they are thinking and making that. So this is a stealing or what? No stealing, not lying, right? 
Similarly, here is this story. All our gopis are Radha expansion. You understand? Gopis are not other. Radha's expansions are the gopis. You understand? When Radha expansion is there, all is Radha there. Even the Chand huh? Chandravali Chandra is also Radhika expansion. Chandravali. Chandra Vali is also Radha expansion. Right? Like Krishna go to the as a honey to the all flower, right? In one tree, so many flowers, and he go to the every flower to take the honey. But is a one tree, one plant, good flowers are there. Is a one root. They are not different root. <laughs> Understand? So, so root is the one. And that is the Radha. She expands in different, different flower. That has to understand. So that way, why they do this Radhika? That she become angry to give his highest love. Because they, when he go to the Chandravali Kunj, then Chandravali is loving, loving. Is a Radha loving to ch in a form of Chandravali? You understand? Is not other Radha herself is in Chandravali face, and she gave love through that way, and. Then Radha knows what is happening. Then she will give love, then tasteful. She is anger that is tasteful for Krishna. <laughs> you see how tasteful. This angerness creates the taste to Krishna. What Radhika is doing to increase more taste is not anger. One place love and one place anger, one place sweet, one place salty. When you take the sweet and sweet and sweet, you not like it. But if you take the sweet and then salty, it will be very tasteful. Right or not? So her angerness is also to increase the sweetness in Krishna. Right? And the Manjari, he knows this is all drama because of Champak uh, Lalita. <laughs> Sorry, my sickness make my memory lose. So, Champ, this uh, Lalita is a leader. He pushed him to become anger. Radhika is not going to be anger. She pushed. And she is a commander. And Radhika will do what the commander will say. So now I cannot fight with <laughs> Radhika. She is my also boss. And I know after 10 minutes, when Krishna will go, it will problem will come to me. So to find out Krishna again, she will say, so I have to anyhow hold him <coughs> and talk with him and then manage that I can bring back to Radhika. And it happens. This is the Manjari who manage the difficult circumstances and request to Lalita, please, Angerness, long angerness, 
Swami will, after five minutes, again say, where is Krishna? Why not you hold him? Then where I will find him? <laughs> so, she engaged outside and she go to the Kunja and say, Krishna say, please go in Kunja and find out Radhika is happy or not. Then he, without talking anything, she come out and say, please, what happened? Krishna said, what happened? He's very angry. All, the Manjari no talk with Radhika, but she's a very angry. He, she don't want to see you. Then he's praying, Krishna, please, you do something that it solves the problem. She's useless, angry. I do nothing, no mistakes. She knows also. I know and she knows. I don't do any mistakes. But she is angry. Make him cool down. He said, I'm trying, trying. Three, four times, Manjari go and come. And no talking. Only said, lying to Krishna <laughs> that he sees angry. Wait, wait. And when he wait, he starts requesting <laughs> to the Manjari. That is the Manjari. Unnat Ujjal Rasa. Unnat developed the Rasa. Ujjal Rasa was there. Sakhi Bhav and Gopi Bhav was there. And what is Unnat? What is the developed? New development by Mahaprabhu is a Manjari Bhav. How the Manjari knows the feeling of Krishna and Radhika both. She, she is holding to Krishna Manjari and she is trying to make more melting inside Krishna that he never do this mistake. And she also know there is no mistake Krishna can do. But only this is the loving exchange of them. You know, there is nothing because of Lalita's problem happened. <laughs> then she went to Lalita privately. It's too much, Lalita. I request you, you can cool down to my Swamini. Please cool her. And says, okay, okay, it's too late now. Cool down. Radhika, yes, yes, she is always cool, <laughs> but Radhika goes to become angry and hold it, keep your anger nuts. This is Radhika is doing, you know, this is the sweetness of the pastime and beauty of the Manjari Bhav Rasa. How much they know the mood of Radha and Krishna, and they only want to them to unite, to make Chaitanya to one. You know, our service only to make two souls in a oneness. The feeling and rasa when come together, feeling is Radhika, Mahabhav, Maha feeling, and Rasa is Krishna, Raso Vaisa. When they come together, that give Ananda to Manjari. Gurudev, there is a beautiful verse in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. It says, Sakhi Bina Lilara Pushti Nahoi. Ah. Sakhi Lila Vistaria Sakhi Ashwadoi. Means without the Sakhis, the Lilas cannot be nourished. No, it's so not expanding. Not expanding. Expanding. And when it's not expanding, you cannot understand Radhis. That is the beauty of Raghavati. What Mahajan is saying. They are divine. If I call with love to Krishna, you come. I offering you, please come. 
and he come and eat what is some mistake here yeah? <laughs> it's you make for him and if he eat that what is the problem <laughs> he said just so that my yeah is lying to you i am i know steal it you see jasoda in the mouth is the butter is there and he said lying to you he said no she is lying i know go to steal her house she called me to come so i go there what is lying just right never lie he is love he can be a stealer also he can be a cheater also he can be a liar also he can you see he promised i will not take the any uh, am ammunition in a uh, and for fighting battlefield eh? no weapon no weapon i will take and he took the wheel chakra chakra then bhishma said yeah to protect your devotee you break your promise mm. <laughs> that is the supreme yaar this is supremacy of krishna that he break all his promises is <laughs> the greatness of a uh, supremacy of krishna and this krishna is radha as krishna <laughs> this krishna is not my krishna this is radha's krishna if you want to see more sweetness radha is everywhere where the feeling for krishna is there is radha and krishna feeling and krishna is there they never separate and without feeling he is not near to us without rag is not near to us if i have no feeling there is no krishna and when there is a feeling ras is there the feeling and ras always live together see that the other name of one krishna is ras so why sah other name what rasa sar rasa what do you say when rasika shekara gude rasika shekara rasika is a rasa and rasa come with the feeling without feeling make me the rasa why not do 20 years practice and no krishna is near to you because you rasa worship but feeling not bring together mm-hmm. so feeling is not there rasa is not there anand is not coming dryness coming see with rasa rasa want to see take with the feelings to us that is radha das that is radha das see my dear that's the radha das is nothing out nothing impossible who has no feeling we feel that my senses is giving me feeling foolish i also try that my senses is giving feeling you know i was in grastas bogas the when the soul go out body not give any feeling dead body see that so senses not give feeling feeling comes from the soul feeling comes from the soul soul is giving feeling and my constitutional position my sarup my i sarup is giving feeling is spiritual body is giving feeling that is say prabhu path we have to fix 
our constitutional position of the soul. Even the soul is mayavad. Only if I know without my sarup that I am only soul is a mayavad. Is not devotion. Without your sarup, we practice only mayavad. Is not Chaitanya follower. Really, you understand this. Prabhupada's last paragraph, see Bhagavad Gita. I will be, when I'm this spirit, I will be in the independent condition and marginal. Before I know that I'm a condition because of my senses. I know that I am a ping pong marginal. Ping pong. Sometimes I like his spiritual life, sometimes like material life, sometimes ping pong, ping pong. And third thing I know when I read Bhagavad Gita, that only soul consciousness, not because of soul identification, we never take shelter. That independence. I am my different identification. I will never surrender to anyone. I will ne never take shelter of anyone. In the soul identification. And that is the problem. If without Vishuddha Sattva, without pure spiritual identification, we cannot understand. So that is the point. To, to come in the feeling we need, I say that Jesus, Jesus, I give you the example of Jesus. <coughs> what he is, he's the son, huh? Right, no? He said, I'm a son, he is my father. Right? He knows a soul. He says, son, means relation. Then you are my father. First he fixed his identification of Saru. Right or not? Yes. Then he see father. When I will be a manjari of Radhika, then I will see my Swami. And I will see with divine eyes that really Radhika expansion is every, every gopi is a Radha expansion. Because gopi means <laughs> to, to underst understand the soul that is gopi bhav. When we come to the soul consciousness, that is my gopi bhav, then my senses become non-active. Upper, lower ever, senses are not interesting to me. When 100% I am fixed, then we should the sattva. Should the sattva, we should the sattva. 50% also, then 50% test will come. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this is inner practice and divine practice. Right or not? See that? So, in the scripture way, you can is yes, Yesterday, hidden path of devotion, or oh, two days before Friday, I give one hour. In this, there is no reasoning if there is a greed on this world. Reasoning comes <coughs> with the sastra, and greed comes with my spiritual. 
but he cannot get get the greed. He will get the greed for ego, living in ego and sense enjoyment. But if I want to go out from this, then greed comes in sarup always. In the manjari has a greed only to serve Radha. You see that? Because she don't want to be distanced from Radha and she wants to be near because she is a shadow of Radha. Shadow of Radha. She is talking, helping to Krishna, very friendly, catching and keeping, holding Krishna for Radha. That is, that is the, she is little distance from Radha, for Radha, you see. Distance from Radha, talking with Krishna for Radha. Manjari. This is Manjari. So this is Uttam. This is Uttam means the highest. Never, nobody explain about this. Unnat Rasa. Unnat Rasa is a Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav. But Unnat is by Chaitanya Mahav, Manjari Bhav. But you will give the beautiful example to see in two levels. One from the Sadak Deha and one from the Siddha Deha. I explain from Siddha Deha to see. And one is also very good to see when we are Sadak Deha then how reasoning disturb us, right? <coughs> but thank you, my dear, you are really go deep to understand with the sastra, but you see from rasas, with the feeling, this can be also right. You will see that. That tree is the one, and then many flowers come from that same root. Right? That is Brajaras. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm very proud of you. You, you give really. What I feel is that we are, when we go in logic argument, how we block ourselves with the scriptures. <coughs> and when we go in our Siddha Deha, how we are open ourselves. Goranga Sundara. Yes? Yes, Gurudev. Thank you very much for your nice explanations. Last ah, things always. Explain. What is your yes. feeling there? Yes, rasa is, is always about tattva, and sometimes from the level of tattva, we don't ha we cannot use our logic, arguments, and to go deeper in the understanding of rasa. Rasa is something you I don't, don't agree. agree. Okay. I agree. Without feeling, it will go in Rasa with Tattva. Feeling is there. If you leave the feeling, then you will go with Tattva to Rasa. If you have yes. anything, then it will go to Rasa. That is Manjari Bhav. You want to yes. more clear to that if you go to Rasa, 
then you have ah. to go ah. yeah <laughs> baba baba and rasa Ananda. if you leave the bhava you will go with tattva to rasa yes if you have a bhava then you will go with rasa in ananda yes so i know i agree with you i agree with him my God. yes very good guru <laughs> in the play but i know i give it with you i i expect more of that from you yes no. bring, bring, bhava may bring you to rasa <laughs> thank yes, you gurudev thank you gurudev thank yeah. you gurudev for your nice words <laughs> thank you <laughs> does it mean that parakya bhav we cannot understand with logic and reason no 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 <laughs> are you can read the lines and you will not understand what you are reading if you are not in feeling you will not understand what book you are reading and what is the meaning of that try <laughs> <laughs> is all word words on even the prabhu pad book is in parkia bhav uh, 20 30 years they practice you read from any place i will show you any books narayan maharaj any book <clears throat> if you are in not going behind the meaning of the line then you will not understand <clears throat> on the line not free like a babel rhyme you remember <laughs> it will not result will come nothing you have to know the behind meaning of this why is written like this check that one you know <laughs> it says in chitrani chaitamrita parakya bhave ati rasara ulas yeah ati rasala ulas Highest. because how much you go in that with the feeling in the line that will be every words will give you the different different beauty of that with tatwa if you go to the rasa yes go <laughs> but <laughs> dryness will come soon <laughs> understand Maharaj, Jati Maharaj, and Maharaj, what is your opinion? I am here. Yes, bring in picture. Yes, say. What? Uh, when I heard the explanation of Govinda Prem Prabhu, it reminded me me one Hari Katha. In this Hari Katha, Sri Mati Radhika was in Udvakyari. in deep separation and all raj get news what shri radha is dying and chandravali came to shri mati radhika and she told please forgive me i make so much pain to you but you must know krishna loves only you not me not others only you when he came to my kunja he came because he was he could not Uh, tolerant my pain and he came to save me but when he was in my embrace i uh, i understand he thinking he is thinking on about you he is looking about pretext how to let me and go to you yeah. what is like krishna what is like krishna so what is wrong i'm a right little person because where is the person where is his mind where is his heart in the base he is Krishna always with Shri Mati Radhika. She is uh, all in all for him. Yes, <laughs> Maharaj. So, he not see Chandravali. He only see Radhika. He knows he is the supreme. Supreme. Cheater. Supreme knowledgeable person. He don't understand his Radha expansion. He is the everything in supreme. he knows that this 
he is not chandravali he covered chandravali acting but he is radhika but the manjari is not go even in the chandravali kunj they avoid to go there because they have no time from radhika direct service they need manjari is has you know you see in any all bilavko samanjali there is no chandravali name is there <laughs> You see, Anandas Baba Ji, all will ask us to mind it, but we have to feel it, the truth, and this can feel by divine vision. One root, many flowers, and the bee is coming and sitting and taking honey and tasting the different. It's the same taste or different taste. is same or different many roots are there or one root is there and the birds near to the flower they are dancing oh, like a manjari birds are manjaris who always live near to radhika so we are rad chaitanya follower we are the birds of the flower radhika's flower birds right and he want want to comment anything share something is a very good subject and i'm proud of my govinda prem he research so much to find and clear the doubts are coming in our life and many we block with the doubts and we not go with rasa to rasa go but tatva with tatva and ras not with feeling when we will go with a feeling ananda will come radhe radhe understand rasa go with the feelings with radhikas follow with radhikas back side like a shadow <laughs> feeling is radhika mahabhava maha feeling sarupa this is my advice simple mm -hmm. thank you guru ji thank you Thank you, Guru. You agree, Maharaj? Thank you. Um, if I will try to understand Krishna from point of Tatva, no father, no mother. But if I will tell this, Krishna will be not happy at all. No, no, no. He will bring you to Bhagavad Gita and other place. You see. I say you one thing: hidden path of devotion. One day morning, one devotee called me, and he say, "Hidden path of devotion. You are telling about rasa, that rasa. What?" Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no reasoning. Reasoning. What was the line? Feeling. Ah, no, uh? no. You find no grief with reasoning. Ah, uh, no, for no, no grief if reasoning is there, mm. right? Then. Guru, he is a key. Guru Dev write after many books. Name, right? Hmm. So these books, he will not create reasoning in my life.
this shastras rasika shastras is full of feeling what is it's not just dry logic this he say to the western devotee who never go through this shastra to know the gopi bhav who know the sakhi bhav know the manjri bhav manjri bhav is not there in this book up to gopi bhav and sakhi bhav is there all book and he is practicing manjri bhav then it he said to me if you will not create reading to me if i read the book i say shiva audience is different na why because the listener is that way of the audience you see the sugde muni give the bhag shrimad bhagavat because the audience in 7 days has to complete so it is only gopi bhav and sakhi bhav not even radha bhav is there because one time he will think for radhika he will go in in trance in 7 8 days and he has to complete it because he is the parrot of radhika Mm-hmm. And still, <coughs> Guru Dev say that first you prepare to be a Gopi Bhav, Sakhi Bhav, then you will understand Manjri Bhav. That is the different stage of consciousness. So he say, if I read these books, it will not create me reasoning. Why not? He say it will be bringing me the Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav. i say okay he say to the person who never knows about this book only living in tattva vichar and when he will come in rasa vichar then he will decide which rasa i have to follow we have, he want to bring out from the tattva vichar in rasa vichar but if you have a rasa vichar then is also not fixed what you have to do it and somebody is fixed then again is reasoning if somebody is fixed in manjri bhav for them why to know the gopi bhav and sakhi bhav then again we are creating reasoning you understand you explain this what i am telling you gopina so he give the way to enter in the out from the tattva vichar to rasa vichar and when you come in rasa vichar then when you will read more mahajan book like this राधा रथ सुधा निधि विलाप को समांजलि मंजल clear or not no clear then you have to practice to manjari bhav then you will clear <laughs> <laughs> when you will practice manjari bhav then it will clear that he is testing us which which are you are living mm-hmm. but is a gift hidden path of devotion is a gift is a by written by narayan maharaj gurudev 
my Siksha Guru, that it shows you how to move from Tattva to Rasa. Guru there. Mm. Uh, so, this is the example of Raghunath who approached to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mm. but he gave him to the Swarup Damodar. The Swarup Damodar teaches him first this Gopi Baba, like you explained. Right. So, this is his way of development from sadaka of God consciousness right. then to the Gopi Bhava to, to give perspective, proper perspective right. in which wish he has that, to cover his soul. Yeah, so he is the very the uh, now Sarup Damodar is, is not there. Yeah. So uh, Lalita is not there. His books will help you. You understand? Yeah. Come in Gopi Bhav. First. And he starts practic practicing Gopi Bhav. Then he starts looking to Mahaprabhu Radha, not Krishna. Mm -hmm. Two times he referred he back to the Raghunath Das Goswami home. Why? Because he is thinking that God is this. Krishna, God is, I come to God. He said, go back. This is too early for you. <laughs> I'm not for that. If you see me as a god, you go back. Then he go take the shelter of Nityananda. Then he punish him. Without me, you want to go there. Without Guru, you want to go to the to the Chaitanya. What you will understand? Then Mahaprabhu accept him, and then he give to Sarvabhuta. And then he do the renouncement. When he renounce, he like it. Then so go Brindavan. And when he go to Brindavan, again in Gopi Bhav, he was in Govardhan. After some time, he want to jump out from there. Yeah. Why? Because he is not getting any more details inside there. He was then, not satisfied. Huh? Huh? He was not satisfied. No satisfied. Because what? He is was not. Gopi Bhav. Gopi Bhav is soul consciousness. Then. He practiced in Sakhi Bhav also, no satisfied. Then Raghunath stopped him, don't do this, go to Radha Kun. No. Then he took the Manjari Bhav. You understand? Then he fully satisfied. What is Radha Kund? Radha flow of love all the time going to Krishna before he thinking Krishna is the supreme. Now he see Radha is the supreme. Then Kripa start running on his head and mercy is he is mad. He is not in his body consciousness. You know. That is the beauty of Raghunath Das Goswami. And if you want to know Rupa Goswami, you will never know by his book. If you want to know any disciple of his Rupa Goswami, the best disciple who knows the mood of 
रूप को स्वामी इस रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी एंड दिस मर्सी ऑफ मंजरी भाव कम फ्रॉम रूप को स्वामी टू बिकॉज ही बिकम वन विथ हिज गुरु इन मंजरी सर सो दैट वे he explain all details in vilas kusumanjan ragunath das why they say mahajan gata supantha means mahajan why how they walk is the way they don't say the the, the close associate research and find out in a thing He didn't think from that. Guru Ji will not say, "I am rich. You can take from me. I will give you." They say, "I am very poor. I am innocent. I don't know anything." But you have to scratch from that. You scratch how to get it from where it will come. One line, one word. I say, only you remember. Write in words. <laughs> reasoning there is no reasoning no this you can't find a way to agree with reasoning if you have agreed there is no 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 reasoning if you have agreed no reasoning if you have agreed no reasoning only one line <laughs> then you study you steal the feeling of mahajans you steal <laughs> Beg, borrow, or steal. This is a stealing. The if there is stealing the heart. Yeah. Stealing the heart, Guru Dev. Yeah, steal and keep it. Block it. Yeah. This is if perfection of stealing. Stealing. There is no. Yeah. Where is the greed? There is no reasoning. Greed is also stealing. You know. greedy person is a full of feeling he cannot see outside anything but to the instrument the tool for stealing is our own heart yeah all you steal that is your business yeah <laughs> <laughs> how much you how <laughs> what you learn from the Supreme Stealer, <laughs> so much association, and you don't know how to steal it. <laughs> what is the what we not teach you? <laughs> what do you use ten years, fifteen years time with him? <laughs> steal. <laughs> See, I'm a bad person not to take it mistakes. <laughs> Sorry, but what to do? This is Mahajan word. I am learning is nothing out. Oh, you see, Guru Dev, when we are begging something, beg, borrow, steal. When you we are be begging yes. something, I, I know from hidden part of it. <laughs> yes. I, Beg, borrow, steal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. To, if you like Rasgulla, you do this. If you have no money, beg, borrow, or steal. And it's a Rasgulla. Rasa. We yes. want Rasa. You also want Rasa, but not with Tatwa, with feeling, with the greed. Feeling is a greed. Feeling is a greed. Feeling is a greed. Without feeling, there is no greed. You feel, you become greedy, mad. Believe me. You have no experience. 
Everyone has this experience. Feeling may make you greedy. Feeling make you material world. You are living in that feeling, and you are greedy for sense enjoyment because of that feeling. And here is also feeling <laughs> is greediness. Right? Same word or not? Is yes. it yes. different? Yes. And I don't know. Material. <laughs> There was also not reasoning. Here is also not <laughs> reasoning. <laughs> Greedy person has no reason. Here is also not reason. Everywhere is madness. Yes. In material world, but also in the spirit of sweet madness. <laughs> and how much you go in when I condense. Let's take the condensed milk and taste today. How sweet, over sweet. Condensed is just too tasteful. If somebody give milk to me, one boiling I don't drink. If it is not condensed, useless. For me, is a condensed and is a different flavor. Very tasteful. Mm -hmm. See the condensed, cook to today milk and condense it and drink it. If we make the condensed milk, it's more tasteful. So feeling has to be condensed. Yeah. Okay. Guru Devan, this mana, this anger is condensed prema actually. Yeah. That's the yeah. reason. Beauty. That's the reason why it's so tasteful. Yeah. Because it's condensed prem, pure love. Yeah. Yeah. We have to fix in our Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita. If you understand this line of Prabhupada, then you will understand all his slow. Without you no know, read any time. And you practice Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. You will understand all the slok of Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> More deep what Prabhupada is telling. Every word you will dance with the book. Wow, what he like to this book. Sarup, like Jesus fixed the Sarup, that Sarup, Sambandha again. You read Bhagavad Gita 22 times, Prabhupada talk about relation. 22 times in one page. 22 times in one page. You read and check this. Page number four. Introduction. One time, writer is good writer. Second time, he repeat, is a not good writer. And he writes 22 times on his revision. <laughs> <laughs> Relation. <laughs> so much love he has. See that. <laughs> Sambanda. Abhideha and Pariyoja. All book is based on these three subjects. Sambandha, Abhideha and Pariyoja of my life. How to useful to make this life.
Always use yourself in the service. You cannot stay always in sad Siddha Deha. <coughs> when you come in Sadak Deha, always use your body in service. Mm -hmm. If you're not using service, lust and false ego will catch us. Nobody can stop it. Nobody can stop. If I am eight years old, I will also catch by that. Service. We have new project here. You will come, you will see that. We are trying to make hydroponic. Say hydroponic. Hydroponic? Gardening, hydroponic gardening. To make the <laughs> I know. Uh, bio, bio vegetables. Organic. 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 Rucola, salad, and and uh, cherry tomatoes, everything for the offering to Radham. <laughs> And for devotee also, because my devotees are all foreigners. So there I have to make happy not only to Ishtadev, he will only be happy when his devotees are happy. So that's, I'm doing the service. He said, <laughs> you are, you are, you are, have a gausala, you know. Is a thankless job because you milk will come and you have to expend double, triple time. I say, but it's seva. Mm -hmm. I'm doing for the seva, <coughs> and he said, I know that it is not for selling a business; it's for seva, mm -hmm. for all services. Everyone happy. So this is my Sadak Deha service is going on. <laughs> I will show to them also they can do for their Istleva and what they like to do. For them, service. Sadak Deha has to engage in the in the activities. Never give chance to do any nonsense. Nearly I say. And Radharani gave this project to me, not I decide. This idea is ideas. I say, oh Radharani wants do it. I said, okay, yesterday, Basant Panchvi Day, we decided, okay, I will do it. No, the, the engineer, engineer ran away. He is not coming to me because I am more active than him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do quick before my devotees come. <laughs> this is the point. <laughs> Service is also important. Seva, Narayan Maharaj, what in hidden path of the Seva, Sadhak Rupena, Siddh Rupena Chatrahi. Then you will get the umbrella and you will under protection of Radha's umbrella. Lotus feet of Radhika. Now, Aarti time, my Gopinath wants to go. Excuse us, I see his anxiousness. He you know, said to me, but he, he missed an Aarti one minute late, then he become angry inside to me. You they were so much talkative, useless. Yes. Sorry, excuse my mistake. <laughs> Sorry. 
I take it. I take it. My <laughs> mind is not working much. Please, Shabbat all you Allah. share, I like to listen only. I mean, I like to listen very much. Please not ask from me. You share, and I, I feel very good when you share it. But it's talk with your sarupa ways, manjari bhav. If you not talk, I will bring you there because I can only listen in this bhav. This is my weakness, sorry, my. You have to excuse for this. But I don't want to change in my old age my feeling, my bhava. I please help me that I can stay my bhava in my saru. I don't deviate other things. Please. This will be my prayer to Bhava. I always pray when I see all Vaishnava. First, I glorify and pray only to help me in this path. Please, only one request. We are all brother and sister for one way. I see Prabhupada is also there. Narayan Maharaj is also there. My Gurudev is also there. All they are serving to Swami Radhika. No other place. They have no other goal. No other goal. All they are one pointed. And they are there. They are in service. In their siddha there. Radhe. Mm -hmm.